Bible Lesson 5. And I want to congratulate you because um, isang lesson na lang, nasa half na tayo ng Lesson 4 and 5. So, congratulations in Japanese is Omedito gozaimasu. So, Omedito gozaimasu, Jobisan. And omedito, not only used for congratulations, omedito also used for uh, greeting someone on his birthday. So, if you want to greet someone because uh, today is her birthday, you will say, O tanjoubi omedito gozaimasu. So, tan or tanjoubi omedito gozaimasu. Or, if someone is Uh, going to marry, to be married, you will uh, greet them as omedito gozaimas because omedito gozaimas is congratulations. So sa marriage and sa birthday, omedito gozaimas then ang ginagamit nilang uh, greetings. And I would like to say, Oi sashiburi des. Oi sashiburi des is long time no see if uh, hindi tayo nakita for one week or more than a week. Oi sashiburi des ang pag-start ng conversation nila. Oi sashiburi des, o genki des ka? So may I ask, o genki des ka? Jobi san? Hi, o kata des ne. And this lesson have four topics. First, of course, the objectives, the very important one. And number two, the iskina, not sukina, and kiraina. Skina is to like, while kiraina is to hate. So, we will learn in this lesson how to say things you like and things that you hate. And number three, the masho and mashoka. So, we already studied masho and mashoka like tabe masho and um, let's eat. But now, this mashoka is different from that. And we have number four is the counting because in Japanese, they have many counters. So, ngayon, ma-encounter tayo ng isang counter. Pero in next lesson, we will encounter more counters that they use in different uh, objects. So, for example, sa animals or sa things na uh, for long things or for small things, may ginagamit silang counters. Hindi lang ichi ni san yon, may nilalagay silang ibang words after the number. So, next, um, of course, we have to read the kaiwa. Trip to Okinawa. Okinawa no Ryoko or simply as Okinawa Ryoko. So, if you see this kanji, so this kanji means a trip or travel. So, if you put Ryoko plus the suru, Ryoko shimas. It means uh, a verb that to travel. But if wala siyang suru, ryoko lang siya, means a noun, a trip, or simply as trip. Trip to Okinawa. So we have the kaiwa. This is the kanji of kaiwa. So medyo familiarize na tayo kasi lagi natin siyang nakikita. So... Robert and Ken are vacationing in Okinawa. Robato said, I tenki desu ne. We encounter the I plus the tenki. So, I is an adjective. It means good. And tenki is weather. And the des plus the ne is the confirmation if the weather is nice. So, I tenki desu ne. Nice weather, right? Or nice weather isn't it? And Ken replied, so desne. So desne is uh, yes or let me see. Demo, demo is but. Chotto atsui desne. So, but it is a little bit hot, right? Because of the ne at the end of the des. Eh, wa, kirei na umi, a beautiful sea. So, we encounter 
after the kire plus the na, kire na is na adjective plus the noun umi. Umi is si and this is the kanji of umi. She said, he said, wow, it's a beautiful sea. Oyogi masho is let's swim. So, oyogi is the dictionary form of oyogu plus the masho form. It means let's swim or shall we swim. And number five, Roberto san wa donna sportsu ga ski desu ka? Donna is what kind? So, what kind of sports do you like? Because ski is uh, in English is to like. So, donna sportsu ga ski desu ka? What kind of sports do you like? Surfing ga ski desu. So, the things that, that you like is will become your subject plus the ga. After the subject, because the sub you want to emphasize the subject. So, ga is also a particle, but only used if you want to um, emphasize the subject like this. Surfing ga ski des. So, pag mayroon kang um, adjective na ski, gamit niya talaga sa noun is ga. So, subject ga plus is ski, I like surfing. Of course, the des. Surfing go ga, ski des. The things that you like plus ga and ski des, it means I like this or I like surfing. So, ashita is tomorrow. Isho ni yarimashou ka? Isho ni is together. So, if you want to say together, so... Ish, you will use isho ni. So, magkadikit yan or kasi nakahiwalay siya kasi nakakanji tong isho plus the ni. But in reality, hindi siya, um, hindi siya particle na ni. But if you hear, hear, heard the word isho ni, it means together. So, let's do it together. So, bukod sa suru, yung yaru, it will become yari masho is to do so shall we do it together because of the ka ashita isho ni yarimashou ka shall we do it together tomorrow demo musukashi kunai desu ka so we have now the musukashi musukashi means difficult and plus the kunai to become negative the statement or the adjective so sabi niya but isn't it difficult and Robato san responds, Daijobo desu yo. Daijobo is no or no, it's all right, it's okay. Plus the yo is to assure Ken that it's all right. So let's try to read. I am Ro I am Ken and Jovi san wa Robato desu. Hi, yonde kudasai doso. So this ne demo choto atsui this ne. Oyogi masho. Roberto san wa donna sports ga ski desu ka? Ashita issu ni yarimashou ka? Musukashi. Daijobu desu yo. And now in this lesson, we will learn to describe a noun or to modify a noun. So at the post office, so again, post office is yubin kyoku or yubin kyoku plus the in this kanji. It means the person who works at the post office. But if hanggang dito lang yung kanji na nakikita mo, yung tatlo, it means yubin kyoku post office. So, it's very important to know the kanji of post office if you are planning to work in Japan. Because lahat jaan dumadaan if you are going to um, make padala sa Pilipinas and kukuha ka ng padala galing naman sa Pinas, magdadaan talaga sa post office. And sumimasen, hagaki. Hagaki means um, postcard. Igirisumade Ikura desu ka? How much is the postcard until Igerisu? Or to 
Yes, from Igirisu, sorry. So, Igirisu is Britain. So, how much is the postcard to Britain? Yes, Hagaki wa Igirisu made ikura desu ka? So, kara and made. So, kara is from and made is to or until. So, if you want to say um, your location, from your location to Manila, Manila Made. So, nauuna lagi ang location, then Kara, tas Manila Made. So, if you want to say, uh, for example, for me, Bataan Kara, this is my province. Bataan Kara, Manila Made. From Bataan to Manila, yon jikan kakarimas. It will take four hours. Yon jikan or yo jikan kakarimashta. It will took four hours from Bataan to Manila. Kakarimashta. Or if you want to say uh, from this time, Hichiji kara Yuji made Nihongo wo benkyo shima. So I will study Nihongo from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. So pwede din siya sa time. And of course, sa location. Nanaju and this. Nanaju and is 70 yen because n in Japanese is yen in English. Ja. Nanaju and kitte wo ni mai onegai shima. So this is the counter for uh, flat sheets or paper. So sabi niya, please give me two ticket. Kitte wo onegai shima. So kitte wo ni mai. Ni plus the mai means that ticket because kitte is ticket and plus the onegai shimas please give me so and then please give me two stamp or two tickets sore kara so we have here sore kara sore kara means and then goju wen kitte wo ichimai kudasai and please give me 50 yen stamp Please, or please, yes, please give me gojuen. Gojuen is 50 plus the kite, 50 stamps. Oh, ichimai. So, ichimai is only one or one only. Ichi plus the mai. So, that's why dito, kinamit niya onegai shimas. More formal, more polite. Then, dito, kinamit niya ang kudasai. Pero pag ginamit mo ang kudasai, polite din naman siya. But not, unlike onegai shimas, is more formal than kudasai. And on Monday on school, Roberto-san, hagaki, arigato. So, hagaki is the postcard. So, uso kasi sa Japanese. Uh, if you are going to travel to somewhere, may pasalubong ka talaga. Hagaki or anything na kahit small token or things lang. Ryoko wa, tanoshi kata desu ka? So, we meet the Ryoko earlier. And wa, tanoshi kata? Tanoshi kata is the past tense of adjectives. So, hindi lang verbs ang may past tense sa Nihongo, kundi adjectives din. So, Robert, thank you for the postcard. Did you enjoy the trip? Because tanoshi is to enjoy or um... It was enjoyable or it was fun. Tanoshi kata desu ka? And we have number two. Eh, Okinawa no umi wa sugoku. Sugoku is extremely. Plus the kirei. Kirei is a na adjective. Plus the deshta to become the, to became past tense the na adjective. Yes, it was very beautiful or it was 
extremely beautiful. Yokatta desu ne. Good or I'm glad. Boku mo. So, boku is only used for men. Hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin. So, sa atin, watashi lang talaga ang pwedeng gamitin. Watashi mo. Or, yes. Pag boku, sa lalaki lang siya ginagamit. Umiga, daiski desu. So, kanina, siski lang tayo, but now, meron na tayong daiski. It means na gustong-gusto mo talaga or it's very, or you are very found it so much. So, very like mo talaga siya. So, I like the sea very much too. Boku mo, umiga, daiski desu. Hikoki no kipu wa takakata desu ka? Was the airplane ticket expensive? Hikoki is airplane. Kifu is ticket. And takakata is an adjectives. Pero ginawa na siyang past tense. So, was the airplane ticket expensive? Iye. Iye is no. Plus the amari. Plus the negative form of The adjectives, takako na kata des, no, it wasn't expensive. So, yung amari, na-encounter natin siya sa verb and kasunod niya talaga, pag amari is the negative form of the verb. So, present negative or past negative, pagkasama talaga ang amari. No, it's not expensive that much. Takeshi sa no deto wa do deshita ka. So, he said, how was your date, Takeshi? Takeshi-san no date wa do deshita ka? So, let's try to read. Number one, Takeshi is me while Roberto, sorry, is Jovi-san. Alright, let's read. Roberto-san, hagaki, arigato, ryoko wa tanoshikato desu ka? Yokata desu ne. Boku mo ume ga daisuki desu. Hikoki no kipu wa takakata desu ka? Taka. Hai. So, if someone asks you, do desu ta ka? How was your... Um, date or example, shumatsu. Shumatsu is weekend. So, if I ask you, Jovi-san no shumatsu wa do deshita ka? So, Jovi, how was your um, shumatsu or how was your weekend? So, syempre, pag tinanong ka ng ganun kung anong ginawa mo or kamusta ka nung weekend, ang reply mo lagi is past tense of the verb. Okay? So, watashi wa shumatsu keiki o tabemashita. So, I, I, I ate cake last weekend. So, pag naman hindi siya nakapass form, ibig sabihin yung gagawin mo pa lang next week. Do desu ka? Or nani yo shimasu ka? Because suru is to do. Tapos ginawa siyang mass form, naging shimas, nani yo shimas ka, shumatsu, nani yo shimas ka, what will you do on weekend? But pag shimashita, ibig sabihin, shumatsu wa, nani yo shimashita ka, yung last weekend yung tinatanong niya. So, wag mako-confuse kasi ang mga Japanese, hindi nila sinasabi kung next weekend ba or last weekend. Kasi sa English, pwede natin i-emphasize, what will you do next week weekend? Or what did you do last weekend? ba? Diba? Meron na tayong did, meron pa tayong last. And meron pa tayong present tense, tapos na present tense pa yung next weekend natin. But sa Japanese, wala sila ang ganun. Kung last weekend tinuturo nila, sa verb mo lang makikita if past tense. Kung last weekend nga yung tinutukoy nila. Okay? So, now we are going to the bumpo or grammar. So, please try to read 
the tango and try to memorize it. And in this lesson, we will uh, discuss about the adjectives. So, in Japanese, they have two adjectives, the i and the na adjectives. So, you will know the adjectives if i adjective siya, if yung syllable niya is nag end sa i. And while na adjectives, nag end naman siya sa na. So, Dito sa, um, sa tango, this is the na adjectives and this is the e adjectives. So, nag end talaga siya sa e. Like, atarashi. Atarashi is new. So, atsui is hot weather. And atsui is also hot sa things naman, like coffee. But as you can see, different sila ng kanji. So, if you see this kanji, it means sinutukoy niya yung weather. Atsui tenki desu. It is hot weather. And atsui, atsui kohi desu. It is hot coffee. So, don't be confused. And there are all E adjectives because they ended with E. And next, we have the na adjectives. Na adjectives naman siya kasi nag -e siya sa na. Kahit naka parenthesis, parenthesis siya, if you hear, hear the, these words, na adjective siya. Kirai na. Kirai na is to dislike. Kirai na, beautiful or clean. So, kirai and then kirei. We have the genki na. Genki na, healthy or energetic. Shizuka na, quiet. So, kaya sa Doraemon, Shizuka yung pinangalan kay Shizuka dun sa babae kasi quiet dun yung character na yun. Skina, not suki, but skina is to be found of or to like. Daikirai na is very hate. So, yung kanina, kirai na, to dislike or to hate. Then, we have the daikirai na. It means very hate. I uh, very much hate. And we have, if we have the very hate, we have also very found of or very love or very like, so much like, daiski, daiski. And we have the nigiyakana, it means lively. And we have the himana, not busy to have a lot or to have a lot of free time. Himana. And next, um, e and na adjectives modify noun. So, we have here omoshiroi plus the noun omoshiroi ega. It means an interesting movie. So, adjective first before the noun. So, dito sa Sentence pattern nito, ganito siya. Pero mamaya makikita natin kung paano siya ginagamit sa ibang way ng sentence. So, if you want to use uh, adjectives to modify noun, lagi siya na uuna. Omoshiroi ega. Omoshiroi is an e adjectives plus the noun ega. So, pwede tong omoshiroi ega will become your direct object. So, Kino, omoshiroi ega wo mimashita. So, kino is yesterday. You have the time. So, hindi na natin siya nilagyan ng particle na ni. Hindi na tayo naglagay ng watashi wa. Pero, pwede mo din namang lagyan. Watashi wa. Then, the time. Kino, omoshiroi ega will become your direct object. So, this is the kanji of ega. O plus the o, written by wo, but pronounced as o, plus the verb. Miru will become mimashita. So, I saw an interesting movie yesterday. Or, I will watch an interesting movie later. You will say, watashi wa omoshiro ega wo. Of course, the present tense of the verb, mimas. So, parang uh, minodify mo lang talaga yung noun, then ginawa mo siyang direct object. And pwede namang din uh, 
For example, gawin mo namang place. Kirei na umi, kanina. Kirei means beautiful. So, na-adjectives siya, kakampi mo lang siya as is, if modify mo yung noun. Let's modify umi. Umi is si, kirei na umi ni, ikimas or ikimashita. I went to a beautiful sea. Watashi wa kirei na umi ni ikimashita. So, pwede din siya maging place, pero minodify mo naman yung noun na place. Okay? So, let's have here a beautiful picture. So, we have beautiful the adjectives kirei na plus the picture is the noun shashin. So, kirei na shashin. Then, let's um, make it a sentence. I took a beautiful picture in Kyoto. So, we have the subject I. We have the verb took. And we have the direct object beautiful picture. And we have, of course, the place. Kyoto. So, watashi wa. Inumit niya na yung watashi wa. Kyoto de. So, Kyoto. Of course, after the place, we have the de. Kirei na shashin are direct object. The adjectives plus the noun wo torimashita and our verb. So, ganun lang siya kadali ginagamit. So, dito nakakaligtaan natin yung kawaii sensei, scary's teacher. So, we have scary. The I adjectives or E adjectives plus the noun teacher sensei. So, we have kawaii sensei. So, Yamashita sensei wa kawaii desu. So, we have Professor Yamashita as our ex, our, our subject. And scary teacher is about Professor Yamashita will become our Y. Ginamit niya X, Y. Why this format? Wala siyang ginamit na verb, kundi adjectives lang. Yamashita sensei will become our subject. Plus, wa, kawai des or kawai sensei des. Because kawai modify the teacher. Yamashita sensei wa, kawai sensei des. And we have the Genki na sensei means energetic teacher. Energetic is Genki na na adjectives. Plus the teacher is the, mod the noun that modify. We have Yamash Professor Yamashita is an energetic teacher. So Yamashita sensei will become our subject. Wa Genki na sensei will become our Y plus the des. Yamashita sensei wa. Genki na sensei des. So, the adjectives, E and na adjectives modify the noun. Lagi silang nauuna sa nouns. And your noun will become your place or your direct object. Or pwede rin sa X, Y, Y, des. Watashi no okasan wa. My mother, my mother is um, yasashi haha des is a kind mother. So, pwede rin yun. And next, ngayon naman, we will go to the present and the past tense of adjectives. So, yung kanina, minodify lang nila ang nouns. But now... Um, dito naman, nagkaroon tayo ng present and past tense. Ito naman yung uh, nilalagay sa hulihan ng sentence because may des na tayo. So, nagiging subject na ang noun. So, kunwari, uh, thank you wa sa muy des. The weather is Cold. So, let's try. We have here the E adjective, samoy, means cold. So, obvious naman na E adjective siya because it's ended with I or E. So, we have the present affirmative. So, samoy des. Pagka present affirmative ang E adjectives, lalagyan lang natin siya ng des. Okay? And 
Kapag naman present negative, so aalisin natin ang I, i-remove natin ang I, papalitan natin ng kunay des. It is not cold. Tung sa muku plus, sorry, sa muku or ku arimasen, more formal than sa mukunay. But uh, I prefer to use sa mukunay des. Kasi formal din naman siya because of the des. But arimasen is more more formal. Kaso ayaw ng Japanese na masyado kang formal. So, if you want to say it is not cold, sa mukunay des. So, remove the I plus add the ku and the nai des. So, the present affirmative, sa mui des. The negative present, sa mu plus the kunai des. And we have the past affirmative, it was cold. Remove the I again and add the kata des. So, sinusulat siya ng mas maliit sa K, itong su, kasi nagdoble siya. So, it modifies the double letter. Kata. Yan. Kata des. Pagka naging kasing laki niya na yung K, hindi na siya kata. Katsu na siya. Katsu ta. But pagka maliit siya na su, nagiging double T. Kaya kata. Samu kata des. So, thank you wa. Samu kata des. So, if I ask you, thank you wa. Do desh taka. How was the weather? Samu kata des. Di ba lately naging cold? It was cold. And if not naman, past tense, samu kuna kata des. Remove the I again and add the kuna kata des. So, dito, kung dito ka na nakatingin, kung alam mo na to, sa mukunay, dito ka na mag-alis ng I, add mo na lang ang kata des. So, sa mukuna plus the kata des. Pwede rin naman. If memorize mo na tong nasa taas, negative pass naman siya. So, negative pass sa mukuna kata des. And again, we have the sa muku, sa mu, Plus the ku arimasen desh da is more formal than sa muku na kata desh. But for me, please try to remember this one. Yun nasa taas kasi easily siya gamitin sa sentence and acceptable din siya sa Japan. And hindi siya ganun ka formal kasi ayaw naman ng Japanese na masyado ka ng formal. Okay? Sa muku na kata desh or sa muku kata. Arimasen deshta. So, don't worry. Meron tayong summarize nito kasi hindi naman agad-agad natin makukuha, di ba, yung mga kanilang rules. Kasi medyo nakakabulol. Samu kunay des. Samu kata des. Samu kuna kata des. And next, we have the na adjective. So, na adjectives, yung nasa huling syllables niya is na. So, we have the genki na. Then, to be present affirmative, aalisin lang natin ang na. We will remove the na. And add the des, of course. She is healthy. Genki des. So, jobisan wa genki des. Jobisan is healthy. And not healthy, genki. Aalisin ulit ang na. Plus the janai des. Or the ja arimasen. So sorry, walang medyo technique how to memorize the rules. Pero ganun lang talaga siya. Kailangan natin i-memorize yung janai des. And of course, the ja arimasen. So ja arimasen is more more formal than janai des. And the past affirmative of genki, she was healthy. Genki plus the deshta. So, okasan wa genki deshta. She, okasan was healthy. Pero pag healthy naman, di ba lagi dapat present affirmative. So, next, genki janakata des. So, pas negative. So, genki, remove again ang na. Then, add the janakata des. Or, the ja arimasen. 
So, again, pagpas, negative, not healthy, genki, tas dajana, kata des. So, let's try to memorize na lang yung mga nasa unahan. Like, janay des and jana kata des. So, medyo mahirap tong adjectives unlike sa uh, verb. So, let's try to have this. Yes. So, again, this is the summary. So, I will send it later. So, if we have the E adjectives and if you want to say present positive or present affirmative, Omoshiroi is interesting. So, you will put this. Omoshiroi this. It is interesting. So, if not naman, present negative, alisin mo lang ang I, magiging omoshiro plus the konaides. Omoshiro konaides. It is not interesting. And if past tense, it was. Ad, alisin mo lang ulit ang I, add mo ang kata des. Omoshiro kata des. And if you want to say it was not past negative, alisin mo ulit ang ay, omoshiro kuna kata des. So, meron kang kunai des, kata des, and kuna kata des. So, dun lang sa unang-una, present positive or present affirmative, hindi tinatanggal ang ay. Omoshiro des. It is interesting. And if not, omoshiro kunai des. It is not interesting. And it was interesting, omoshiro kata des. And it was not interesting, omoshiro plus da kuna kata des. Omoshiro kuna kata des. So, next we have the exemption, the E. E means good, right? So, nagiging yo na siya pag present negative. It is not good. Yo kunai des. So, of course, plus the des. Yo kunai. It was good. Yo kata des. It was not good. Yo kuna kata des. So, please take note the E or the good adjective. So, E means good. Pero pagka present negative na siya, nagiging yo. Pero pagka present positive, E des, E des, it is good, E des. Right? So, yun nga yung kaninang use. So, modifying the noun. For example, omoshiroi ega. Nauuna ang adjective bago ang noun. Pag ganito ang, ang yung composition, pwede mo siyang maging direct object or pwede mo siyang maging place. But if may des ka, des, 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 of course, kasunod siya ng wa or nagiging why mo siya. Nagkakaroon ka ng x, wa, and of course, yung y is about dun sa x, yung y is yung adjectives plus the des. So, a gawa, for example, the movie is interesting. A gawa, omoshiroi des. The movie is not interesting. A gawa, om, omoshiro kunai des. Okay? The movie was interesting. A gawa, omoshiro kata des. And the movie was not interesting e gawa omoshiro kuna kata des okay nagiging x wa y des formal siya if meron ka ng present positive present negative until the past negative and next we will proceed to na adjectives so we have here shizuka so shizuka na lagi tayong may na dyan ni-remove ang na Pinalitan ng des. 
naging present positive, Shizuka des. It is quiet, Shizuka des. Next, we have the present negative, yung Shizuka dewa arimasen, or Shizuka janai des, or Shizuka ja arimasen. But sabi ko kanina, we will use the janai des. Shizuka janai des. It is not quiet. Shizuka janai des. And past positive, it was quiet. Shizuka deshta. Alisin din ang na adjectives plus deshta. Shizuka des and shizuka deshta. And we have the past negative. It is what it was not quiet. We have the dewa arima sen deshta, jana kata des and ja. Arima sen deshta. Dito, tatlo. Dewa arima sen deshta is the more more formal than ja arima sen deshta. But we will use the ja na kata des. Shizuka ja na kata des. Kasi dito, ginamit natin ang ja na des. Tapos gagamitin natin sa past negative ang ja na kata des. But take note, pwede din siyang maging modify ng noun. Quiet restaurant. Shizuka na Restoran des. Shizuka na restoran ni ikimas. I will go to quiet restaurant. Wait, wait, hi. So wait, I will. Ah, yes. So dito, so bago tayo magproceed don sa practices, meron ah example. Uh, sentence. The sea was very beautiful in Okinawa. So, dito we have the subject, the sea, or the umi, and we have Okinawa. So, naging Okinawa no umi will become our subject because the sea was very beautiful in Okinawa. Okinawa no umi will become our subject plus the wa. After the subject, totemo, totemo, if you want to say very, a little, you can add a degree of adverb like sugoku. Sugoku is extremely, totemo, very, and a little is choto. So dito, ginamit niya ang totemo, totemo, kirei deshita. So, naging why natin ang kirei deshta. The X wa why des. The C was very beautiful in Okinawa. Okinawa no umi wa totemo kirei deshta. Or pag ginamit mo naman ang kirei, kirei na umi ni. Kirei na plus Okinawa no umi. Kirei na Okinawa no umi ni. Ikimashita. Meron kang verb, of course. Pag ginamit po ang adjective plus the noun. Ikimashita. I went to the beautiful sea of Ikinawa. Okinawa. Kirei na Okinawa no umi ni ikimashita. Or kirei na umi ni ikimashita. I went to the beautiful sea. Or in the beautiful sea. But if you want to use the past negative or present affirmative, kailangan lagi siyang nasa huli because of the des, the deshita. And we have this room is a little hot. So, konoheya, because of this room, will become our subject or our ex. Wa, after the subject, of course, we will have the wa. Choto atsui des, we have the y. X, wa, y des. Choto atsui des is a little hot. So, kyo wa samui des. Today is cold because of the rain. And because we will 
The word because we will learn in next lesson in lesson 6. So, pwede na tayong magkaroon ng reasons sa ating sentence. So, let's try to answer this. Change the following adjectives into affirmatives. So, we have here takaides. So, ay adjective siya. Copy mo lang siya. Wala kang tatanggalin sa kanya. Kaya naging takaides. And we have Genki na, aalisin mo lang ang na, kaya naging gen Genki des. So, present affirmative form siya. So, let's have number one. Yasui is cheap. So, let's try to answer Jobisan. Yes, Yasui des. Yasui means cheap. So, mura. So, for example, apple is cheap. Ringo wa yasui des. And we have atsui, of course, hot atsui des. So atsui, uh, pwede siya sa things or sa weather, but depende sa kanji. And we have the samui. Samui is cold. Samui des. Number four is omoshiroi. Can you try to answer? Yes, omoshiroi is interesting. It is interesting. Omoshiroi des. Eiga wa omoshiroi des. The movie is interesting. But pag ginamit mo siyang omoshiroi eiga will become your direct object. O, oh, mi mashta. I watch a interesting movie. And we have the sumaranai. Sumaranai is also boring. Sumaranai des, yung wala ka talagang ginagawa. And we have the izogashi. Izogashi means um, busy ka or marami kang ginagawa. So, kyo wa izogashi des. So, sumimasen. Kyo wa izogashi des. Jugyo ni ikimasen. Sorry, I'm busy today. I can't go to class. So, jugyo ni ikimasen. Kyo wa isugashi. Jugyo ni ikimasen. Isugashi des is uh, it is busy. And we have number seven, furui. Furui is old. Furui des. And number eight is i. I des. So pag affirmative pa siya, hindi pa siya magbabago. Kaya i des. It is good. And let's try number nine. Shizuka na. What is the answer, Jovisan? Shizuka des. Yes. Tatanggalin lang natin ang na adjectives. Jovisan wa shizuka des. Jovisan is quiet. So pwede din siya sa person, di lang sa place. So, if you want to say a quiet person, shizuka na hito. Person is hito. So, this is the kanji. So, paganyan, then eto. Means hito. Person. Shizuka na hito. Jobisan wa shizuka na hito des. Jobisan is a quiet person. Nigiya ka na. Nigiya ka is lively. So, hindi siya pwede sabihin sa busy kang tao. Ginagamit siya sa places lang. Kware, busy yung street or busy yung isang place. Nigiya ka yung kanyang adjective. But, if you want to say I'm busy, isugashi des. Watashi wa isugashi des. Ito ang ating gagamitin na adjectives. Because nigiya ka use for places or sa mga uh, busy street. Nigiya ka, remove natin ang na, naging nigiya ka des. It is busy or busy street. And we have kirei na, kirei des. So, present affirmative will become kirei des. Tanggal din lang natin ang na. How about number 12? Hima na. Yes, hima des. Kasi hima is also boring. But hima if yung sa places lang din siya 
ginagamit. But sumaranay, ginagamit siya ng tao if wala siyang ginagawa. But hima is if pag hindi uh, busy yung street or walang tao, doon siya ginagamit. Hima des. And we have letter B, change the following adjectives into negative naman. We have Yes, present negative. We have the I adjective, yasui. Tatanggalin lang natin ang I. Kaya, naging yasu plus the kunai des. So, pag I adjectives, tatanggalin ng I, then i-add ng kunai des. And hima na, tanggalin ang na, nagiging janai des. Hima plus the janai des. Hima janai des. So, yasu kunai. It is not cheap. But of course, yung yasui, para maging negative siya, may antonym naman siya. So, takay des. Diba? Pinapahirapan nila ang sarili nila. Siguro, pag hindi nila maisip yung antonym, pwede nilang sabihin, yasuko na des. But of course, in reality, meron talagang antonym ang ibang adjectives. Like yasui. Yasui is cheap. While expensive naman is takay. So, let's try samoy. Samoy is cold. Samu kunay. So, erase lang natin ang I. Samu kunay. So, what do you think the antonym of samoy? Of course, atsuy. Right? Atsuy is hot. While samoy is cold. Pero, meron silang present negative. Yasuk. Samu kunai des. So, siguro kaya tinuturo to sa lesson or sa book kasi lalabas to sa exam if you are taking the exam. But in reality, if it's hot, of course, atsui des. So, if it's not hot, you will say samoy des, right? So, kailangan alam din natin ang antonym. So, we have number two, furui. Furui is old. So, if it's not old, furu kunai des. Furu kunai des. Of course, may antonym din ang furui, si atarashi. Atarashi means new. Diba? And furui means old. So, imbis na atarashi kunai, nagiging furui des na lang. Pag alam mo yung antonym, right? So, atarashi, tatanggalin mo isang ay. Kasi pag sinulat mo siya sa hiragana, isa lang naman talaga ang ay niya. Yung nandito sa dulo. So, atarashi kunai des. How about number three, kawai? Yes, kuwa kunai des. So, don't forget the des. Kawai is scary. So, if you are not scared, kuwa kunai des, kuwa kunai des, I'm not scared. So, e gawa. Kowa kunai des. The movie is not scary. But e gawa, kowai des, kowai des, scary. So we have number five, muzukashi. Muzukashi means difficult. So muzukashi, alisin natin yung isang ay, of course. Kasi yung shi, kasama siya dito. Sa sashi su se. Then isa lang talaga ang ay niya. So muzukashi kunai des. It is not difficult because muzukashi is difficult. Nihongo wa muzukashi des. Nihongo is difficult. So if it's not nihongo wa muzukashi kunai des, it is not difficult. And let's try ah sige number ten shizuka. So na adjective sha so shizuka janai des. It is not quiet. So, let's try number 11, Kirena. Can you try to answer, Jovisan? Kire Janai des. So, remove yung na. Yes. Kire Janai des. So, it is not clean or it is not beautiful. So, heya wa kire janai des. The room is not clean. So, kire, it's either clean or beautiful siya. Kire na umi, beautiful si. So, kire na heya, heya is room. 
clean room. Or pwede rin naman ang beautiful room. Hi, so it's already um 7.55. So let's have a break for 5 minutes na lang. Then let's start again at 8. Ay, sorry. Yes, 8 o'clock. Hi, Dozo. Let's have a little break. CR break or water break. And let's start again. Hi, Jovisan. So, let's start again. And now naman, change the following adjectives into the past affirmative. So, it was expensive. So, takay. Takay is expensive. So, remove lang natin ang ay. Then, palitan natin ng katades. Taka, katades. It was expensive. And genki, remove naman natin ang na. Palitan natin ng deshta pag na-adjective. So, genki, deshta. So, we have here number one, yesui. Yesui means cheap again. So, remove natin ang ay. Then, add tayo ng kata des. Yesu, kata des. Banana wa. Yesu, kata des. Or, the ticket. So, kitfu wa. Yesu kata des. The ticket was cheap. And we have the atsui. It was cold. Atsu kata des. Remove again ang ay. It will become atsu kata des. So, tenki wa. Tenki is weather. Atsu kata des. The weather was hot. Tenki wa. Atsu kata Kata des. And of course, we have the samui. It was cold. Samu kata des. So, let's have omoshiroi. Omoshiroi is interesting. It was interesting. Can you try to answer Jovisan number four? Yes, omoshiro kata des. So, ega wa omoshiro kata des. Or kanji. Kanji in lesson 3. Lesson 3 no kanji wa omoshiro kata des. The, kanji, the lesson 3 kanji was interesting. And number 5, sumaranai is boring. Sumarana kata des. And let's have number 7. So, tanoshi is fun or it's enjoyable. So, remove natin ang isang ay. Tanoshi kata so, if I ask you, for example, Shumatsu wa, do deshita ka? How was your weekend? You can say, tanoshi kata des. Of course, the past tense. It was fun or it was enjoyable. Okay? Tanoshi kata des. So, lagi siyang uh, past tense. Pag past na, of course. Shumatsu wa, do deshita ka? How was your weekend? Tanoshi kata des. It was fun. And we have Shizuka na. So, remove lang natin ang na. Shizuka deshta. It was quiet. Shizuka deshta. And how about number 11? Can you try to answer? Kirei na. It is, Kirei is beautiful. Yes. Kirei deshta. So, umi wa kirei deshta. The, the sea is, or the sea was beautiful, sorry. Umi wa kirei deshta. Because past tense. And letter B, change the following adjective into past negative naman. So, it was not. So, we have here the yasui, e adjectives. Tanggalin lang natin ang e. Then, palitan natin ng kunakata. Plus the des. Yasu kuna kata des. It was not cheap. Or pag na adjectives naman, remove ulit natin ang na.
palitan natin ng jana kata des. Hima jana kata des. But hima used for places na hindi busy. Pero pag boring ka, we will use sumaranay. Kunwari, wala kang ginagawa, ganyan. Or wala kang work, sumaranay des. So, it is boring. So, let's start with takay. Takay is expensive. So, it was not expensive. Taka kuna kata des. So, remove natin ng ay plus the kuna kata des. And number two, tanoshi. Tanoshi is fun or enjoyable. So, it was not fun. It was not enjoyable. Tanoshi kuna kata des. Of course, alisin ulit natin ang isang ay. Tanoshi kona kata des. And let's try number three. Yasashi. Yasashi is kind or easy. Yes. Yasashi is also easy. Can you try to answer, Jovisan? Yes. Yasashi kona kata des. And we have uh, number ten. Shizuka na. Shizuka is quiet again. So, Shizuka, jana kata des. It was not quiet. How about number 11? Again, kirei na. Can you try to answer, Jovisan? Yes, it was not beautiful. It was not clean. Kirei, jana kata des. And of course, it was not... um. Energetic, it was not healthy. Genki, jana kata des. So, pag na-adjective, satanggalin lang ang na. Then, pag i-adjective naman, satanggalin ang i. So, we are done with the adjectives. So, eto. So, this is also the summary. So, omoshiroi ega. It means interesting movie. So, you modify the noun, the movie. So, nauuna lagi ang adjectives plus the noun. So, hindi, wala kang tatanggalin kahit mapai or na adjective siya. So, I watch an interesting movie. Watashi wa kino. Sorry, dapat watch do. I watch an interesting movie. Watashi wa Kino omoshiroi ega wo mimashita. So, naging adjective or direct object yung omoshiroi ega plus the verb. Watashi wa kino omoshiroi ega wo mimashita. Or pwede mo din lagyan ng place yan. Watashi wa kino uchi de omoshiroi ega wo mimashita. I watched an interesting movie yesterday at my home. Or, watashi wa, I will go to beautiful sea. Watashi wa, kirei na umi ni ikimas. Kirei na umi ni ikimas. Naging place naman siya. Pero, pwede mo din siya gamitin pag sa direct object. Watashi wa, kirei na pen o kaimashita. I bought a beautiful sea. Pen. So, we have the subject, we have the wa, we have the direct object, we have the o, and the word kaimashita, the verb kaimashita to buy. So, watashi wa kirei na pen wo kaimashita. So, ganyan word sentence siya ginagamit if you use the uh, adjective plus the noun or you modify the noun using the adjective. You know, una yung adjectives, then the noun. Plus the verb, of course. Kasi pag ganun, pwede siyang maging place, direct object, and of course, yes, place and direct object. And ito naman, pag gamit mo naman ng des, so nagiging subject naman yung noun na modify mo. The movie was interesting. So we had the subject. We have the adjective interesting. And of course, pagka past tense siya, gagamitan mo siya ng past tense of adjective. So, kino, eigawa, omoshiro, 
Hatta Des. But if the movie is interesting, Eiga wa omoshiroi des. Of course, the present tense of the adjectives. And the flower is beautiful. So, hana wa kirei des. Because kirei is kirei na. It's an adjective. So, tinatanggal lang na para magamit yung des. Hana wa kirei des. We have the subject, the flower, the noun, plus the wa, plus the kirei des. So, pag gamitin mo yung present until the past tense of adjectives, lagi siyang nasa hulihan ng sentence. So, don't forget that. So, that is the difference of using uh, the adjectives that modify the nouns agad-agad. Then, dito, yung, uh, yung, nouns na, yung noun naman nagiging uh, subject naman siya pag gamit mo yung present tense of the adjectives and the past tense until the past tense of the adjectives. And we have the next topic, the skina, not suki. But iskina is to like and kirai na, not kirai ha, this is kirai na, is to hate. Both are na adjectives. But uh, dito, ang word pattern nila is the you are the subject, the X, plus the wa. And why is the things that you like, plus of course the ga. Kasunod ng why is the ga. Kasi gumamit na tayo ng wa after the subject. So, watashi wa keiki ga iski des. I like cake. Watashi wa uh, grape juice ga kirai des. I hate uh, grape juice. So, the things that you like and the things that you hate. Of course, the X is the subject. So, we have here Robert likes his Japanese class. So, Robato-san is our subject. Robato-san wa Nihongo no Kurasu because of the Japanese class. Ga iski desu. So, ganun siya. Why is the things that you like plus the ga and the ski desu. So, Professor Yamashita dislike fish. We have the subject. Yamashita-sensei wa. Fishes are the things that he hates. Satana ga kirai des. Okay. So, anyway, this is the Ruma-san. So, if you search the Ruma-san, popular siya sa Takasaki, Japan or sa Gunma, Japan. So, pag meron ka daw um, goal na ina-achieve, mabibili mo kasi siya ng walang eyes. So, sa right eye niya, Uh, if mag start ka pa lang dun sa goal mo, do-drawingan mo siya ng black. So, it means daw na um, start mo na yung goal mo and matatapos mo siya sa so, uh, gusto mong mangyari. Then, if na-finish mo siya na matagumpay ka or you achieve it, kailangan mo ng drawingan ang kanyang left side. Ay, or baliktad. So, sa left ka muna mag-uumpisa, then sa right ka matatapos. Because if you have this daruma, hindi siya nabubuwal. So, sabi nga nila, uh, fall seven times but stand up eight times. But itong daruma na ito, pag namili ka, hindi talaga siya nabubuwal. Kasi para siyang kahit na itulak mo, uh, ano lang siya, magwi-wave lang siya. So, this is daruma saan. So, kahit na i-search mo yan, gano'n siya. But may moving daruma-san. Yung pag tumingin yung daruma sa'yo is madededs ka. Pero hindi iyon ang totoong meaning niya. So, daruma is if you want to achieve a goal, nilalagyan nilang black tong eye. Wala kasi yung eye na yan pag binili mo siya. So, sa common gi, sa Japanese, so, omiyage is present or Pasalubong sa Tagalog. O, miyage. So, karaniwan, pag yung mga Japanese pumupunta dito sa Philippines, nagbibigay sila ng beer. Or something sweets. O, miyage. And, so, of course, if you want to say likes a lot or so much, you, you like it so much, so, yon. If you like or hate something, Or someone very much, very much, 
you will use the dice key. Pero same pa rin sila. Takeshi-san will become our ex. Wa, of course. Kohi, the things that you like. Ga, dice key des. Takeshi-san likes coffee a lot. Watashi mo. Kohi ga, dice key des. And we have here, Kimu-san wa nato ga daikirai des. Miss Kim hates nato. Very hate. So we have the subject, Kimu-san, plus the wa. Nato is a Japanese fermented soy bean. So the things that she hates, plus the ga and the daikirai des. So... Yung daisuke, tsaka daisuke rai, ginagamit lang siya if you really like it very much ha, or you really hate it very much. So, kakaraniwan sa kanila, iski lang ang gamit sa nila. Kasi daisuke and daisuke rai is very strong word. So, di ba? Pag sinabi mong daisuke rai, I really hate. Very strong yung word niya. So, and please be um careful then to use daisuke or ski sa person. So, if you want to say uh, Robato-san ga daisuke, it means you like or you love him. So, may pagtingin ka sa kanya. So, please uh, don't use daisuke sa person na hindi mo naman talaga gusto or magko-confess ka. So, in Japanese kasi, ayaw ng lalaki na nagko-confess talaga ang babae. So, isa karaniwang Japanese drama na napupanood ko, lalaki talaga ang unang nagko-confess sa babae. So, yung lalaki sasabihin, Jovi Sanga, Daisuke Des. Or gamit niya ang surname mo, bago pa lang sa first name basis kayo magtatawagan. So, if you want to say, I neither like nor dislike, so, ganun pa rin, yung why na gusto mo, yung things, will become why plus the ga. Why ga? Ski demo. Demo is bad. Kirai, kirai demo nai des. Ski demo. Kirai demo nai des. And as modifi modifiers of noun. So, pwede din siyang ski na hon des. My favorite book or favorite book. Ski na hon wa. Nihongo des. My favorite book is Nihongo. So, pwede din siyang maging modifier ng noun. Skinahon no yomimas. Skinahon no yomimas. So, of course, pag may modifiers tsaka noun, modifiers of noun, meron tayong verb. Skinahon o Yomimas watashi wa skinaho no yomimas. I will read my favorite book. Or skinaho no yomimashita. So, pwede din siyang gamitin as modifiers of noun. And next, let's try to answer the following question. Number one, don't na spots ga ski desu ka? So, to answer this question, so what kind of sports do you like? Remove mo lang ang don na, then yung ka. So, watashi wa badminton ga ski desu. So, palitan mo lang yung spots ng sports na gusto mo or the sports that you like. Or you can only... You can say badminton ga ski des or watashi wa badminton ga ski des. The X wa Y ga plus the ski des. So may I ask Jovisan, don't I spot su ga ski des ka? Yes, so bachiri desu yo, it's perfect. Watashi wa tennis su ga suki desu. I like tennis. How about number two? Don na tabemono ga suki desu ka? So watashi wa ice cream ga suki desu. Tabemono is food. So don na is what kind of food, of food do you like? Yes, watashi wa keiki ga suki desu. So, I like 
Okay. So, this is the kanji of tabemono, ah, para maging familiar tayo. And this is the kanji of ski. So, tingin-tingin lang para nagiging familiar. Kasi once na makita mo siya, right, tas meron kang romaji sa gidet, para nagiging familiarize ka na sa kanya. So, this is mono. So, pag hiniwalay mo tong kanji nito, ibig sabihin niya is things. Mono din ang basa sa kanya. Mono is things. In English, thing. Tabe mono. Tabe mono is food. Don't na tabe mono ga ski desu ka. And number three, don't na no mi mono ga ski desu ka. What kind of drinks do you like? So, watashi wa uh, kohi ga ski desu. How about Jovi-san? So, soft drink, basta kanila is, ang popular is Coca-Cola, right? Cola. So, ang Coke sa kanila is Cola. Yes. Yeah. So, yung anime na mahilig sa Coke, si Maru-chan. So, pag may time ka, tapos if meron ka namang Netflix, John, dun siya mapapanood. Or sa YouTube, meron. Maru-chan. May ilig sa potato chips and sa kora. And yung mga ni Hongo na ginagamit niya, sure ako, may intindihan kasi ano lang, parang light lang yung gamit niya. Yes. And number four, don na ega, guys. Kides ka. So, what kind of movie? So, this is the kanji of ega. So, please try to remember. Kasi N5 din siya. Ega. So, don't worry. Uh, wala pa naman sa lesson 5, I think, yung kanji ng ega. So, ega ga, ski desu ka. And we have number 5, don na ongaku. Ongaku is music. And also, this is the kanji of ongaku. What kind of music do you like ga, ski desu ka? So, lagi lang siyang ganon. Watashi wa Taylor Swift no ongaku ga, ski desu. So, I like Taylor Swift. Music. Lagi lang siya ganun. Ga, ski des. Ga, ski des. And next, we have Masho and Mashoka. Sorry, hindi pa pala natin to natakel Masho, Mashoka. So, naisip ko kasi yung uh, Yari Mashoka, I do it. But now, the Masho is Mashoka. You can use to suggest a plan of, of action or simply as let's. So, Yung masyo tsaka masyo ka, same sila ng rules ng mas form ng verb. So, pagkataberu, pag ru verb, of course, tatanggalin mo lang ang ru, right? Pag you verb naman, pare no mu, tatanggalin mo lang ang you, no mi. No mi masyo, no mi masyo is let's drink. So, dito sabi niya, let's study in the library. Together. So, we have the verb, study, but now we have the let. So, we have the place, library, and we have together. So, together is isho ni. So, isho ni. Toshokan, we have our place. De. Denkyo shimasho ka, of course, the verb. Kaya hindi siya ni, kasi yung benkyo si masyo, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng direct object. And hindi siya uh, goal of movement for destination, right? So, isyo ni, tosho kande, benkyo si masyo ka, let's study in the library together. Or, sorry, walang ka, isyo ni, tosho kande, benkyo si masyo. Let's study in the library together. Isho ni tosho kande ni hongo wo benkyo shimasho. Pedi siyang lagyan ng direct object. But if we have shall we drink coffee at the coffee shop? So we have the ka now because you are uh, use a question sentence. So we have the shall we drink? We have the verb. We have the direct object, coffee, and we have our place, coffee shop. 
So, Kisa Tende. We have the place. We have our direct object. Kohiyo. Nomimashoka. So, same lang sila ng word order. Naiba lang ang mass form. Naging masho and mashoka. So, take the long form of verb or the mass form of verb. Then, replace it by masho and mashoka. So, same rule sila. So, tabe mas, right? We have the tabe mas. Palisin mo ang mas. Palitan mo ng masho. Tabe masho. Let's eat. Tabe mashoka, shall we eat? So, ganun siya. Hi. So, change the following into masho sentence. So, number, we have the example, tennis o suru. So, let's play tennis. Tennis o shimasho. Tennis o shimasho. How about number one? Isho ni kaeru. This is the kanji. Isho ni kaeru. Let's go home. Isho ni kairimasho. So, laging ri siya because special siya kahit naru siya. Nagiging ay yung huli niya kasi special form daw siya ng verb. And considered siya as you verb. So, number two, sensei ni kiku. Kiku is to listen, right? But also, kiku is to ask. So, let's ask the teacher. Sensei ni kikimasho. Kikimasho. How about number three? Egao miru. Can you try to answer? Jobisan. Mimasho. Yes, because it's a rule verb. Miru is to watch. So, pag nage-end sa ru, it's a root verb, so remove Latin ang root, then add the masho. And number four, omiyage wo kao. So, omiyage is a present or pasulugong. Kao is to buy. So, this is the kanji of kao. So, ito nga pala yung kanji ng miru. Madali lang siya. Box lang siyang ganyan. Then, may buntot sa huli. Parang ipis, right? Pero, mata talaga yun, then may paa. Plus the root. Miru. And yung kiko naman, may dalawang gate doon sa uh, gilid. Ibig sabihin nung tenga daw yon. Then, ito yung butas. So, kiko. Diba? Ang daming ala. <laughs> Joke. And we have omayage o cow. So, kaya nila ginawa ang kanji because nung war nga, para hindi maintindihan ang kanilang sulat. So, pag naman na-familiarize ka na sa kanji, Pag nakita mo siya, mababasa mo na siya. Pero of course, if you have time, you need to write it sa paper para ma-memorize mo na siya. But uh, hindi siya ganun kaagad-agad na pag ni-write mo, mara-write mo na siya ulit. Yung parang uh, i-dictate ko, then i-write mo sa kanji, hindi siya ganun kadali. But I assure you, pag ni-write mo siya, then nakita mo siya, alam mo na siya paano basahin. Ah, eto yun. So ganun siya nag work Pero pag sinulat mo na siya, nagsusulat ka ng diary, then magkakanji siya. Hindi siya ganun kadali may tandaan. But if you write it, then you saw it, maaalala mo siya. And we have dekakeru. Dekakeru means to go out. So let's go out. Dekake masho. Dekake masho. And we have number six, matsu. Matsu it's, is to wait. So yung su nagiging chi. Can you try to answer, Jovisan? Mashimasho. Yes. Ibig sabihin, let's wait. Mashimasho. Let's wait. And we have the oyogu. Yung gu. Alisin mo ang yu. Palitin mo ng ay. Oyogi masho. It means, let's swim. Oyogi masho. And how about shashin o toru? So, ito... Ru, yung huli niya, pero considered siya na you verbs. Kasi yung nauunang bawel niya is o. So, ang technique, pag o, tsaka a, ang nauunang bawel sa ru, it means you verbs. Pero naman pag i, tsaka e, ang nauuna sa ru, it means ru verb. Okay?
So, ganun siya nagwa-work. Except, dito sa Cairo, U-verb talaga siya. Considered daw siyang U-verb. So, Toru, so, U-verb siya, kasi nauunang bawel is O, remove the U, and palitan ng I. So, can you try to answer number 8? Yes, Shashin wo Tori Masho. Shashin is picture, so let's take a uh, picture. But also, Toru, hindi lang siya sa picture ginagamit, ah, yung kware to take a uh, paper, take a glass, yung kukuha na na verb. Pwede siya. Tori mas to take an exam. So, JLP, Tio, Tori Masho. Pwede din siya. Okay? So, let's take JLPT exam. And we have bas ni noru. So, nori masyo. So, again, o na naman siya before the ru. Kaya naging ay siya. So, if you use this word noru to ride on the bus, lagi siyang ni. So, yung sasakyan mo plus the ni and the noru na verb. So, kuruma is car. Kuruma ni nori masyo. Let's ride on the car. Or den siya. Den siya is train. Den siya ni nori masyo. And we have the rokoji ni au. Au is to meet. So, we have the time. So, let's meet at 6 a.m. So, yung au nagiging ay. Can you try to answer number 10? Yes, so Jovisan Rokoji ni Aimasho ka? So if you put the ka, it means shall we meet at 6 p.m. or at 6. And we have now last topic, the counting. So ito pa lang ang unang counting or counters na ma-encounter natin. The my May is a counter for sheets of paper or the flat object. So, we bought three stamps. So, lagi siyang direct object. Direct object. Wo. Plus the sun may. The counter plus the verb. Of course, the subject. Ri san wa. Kite wo. San may. Kai mashta. So, we bought three stamps. The subject plus the verb plus the three stamps is your direct object. But lagi siyang, pag ganyan ang SBDO, lagi siyang subject, reason wa, tas direct object, kite wo, then dun ka palang maglalagay ng counters after the wo. San may kai mashta. Okay. Or, pag naman X, Y, Y, this, of course, kite wa samay this. Of course, your subject is the ticket. So, kite wa. And the counter, the may. So, ichi may is one sheet. Ni may, two sheets. San may, three sheets, and so on. Yon may. So, number plus the may. Wa, san may des. But if you have the verb, of course, lagi siyang after ng direct object and the wo or before the verb. Ichi may, san may. So, if you want to say, please give me a... Five sheets of paper or five plots object. Go my onigai shimas plus da onigai shimas word. Onigai shimas. And this is the last topic of lesson five. And next lesson we will go on lesson six. Hi. But for now, let's try to have kanji for you to familiarize lang, kahit hindi ma-memorize. But please, if you have time and if you want to work sa 
Japanese bilingual company or sa mga call center, of course, kailangan medyo marunong ka din magbasa ng Japanese. And I assure you, medyo mataas ang sahod ng Japanese bilingual speaker. Right? So, meron offer marami is si Accenture. But I take the exam for N2. So, kasi inano ko ng JK Networks for part-time job. N2 sana. Kaso, ang hirap ng N2 exam nila. But, yung N5, nak- ay, nakakalimutan ko lang i-share. Nakakuha ko ng mga tanong. Like, what is your name? what When is your birthday? Or where do you live? So, next time, I will send it to you. Para if uh, you want to apply... Uh, Japanese bilingual sa Accenture after this lesson, pwede naman, di ba? Para, uh, lalo na ngayon, maganda. Hindi ko naman sa pinupomote. So, if I ask, Accenture ka ba, Jovi Sans? Sorry, may I ask? Uh, tapos po ngayon, a home base. So, yung Accenture kasi, uh, naka-work from home sila, di ba? Lalo na ngayon. So, siguro lagi ng gano'n ang setup kasi nga medyo matagal pa. So, maganda ang benefits nila. Kahit nasa ang lugar ka, papadalahan ka nila ng pera. Of course, nakita ko lang sa Facebook din and sa mga iba kong colleagues na, yun nga, binibigyan sila ng uh, pang work from home na uh, allowance to buy gadgets. So, sayang nga yun eh, yung part-time na yun. Hindi ako na ano sa Accenture. But also, Infinity O. So, another BPO companies din. Kasi habang hindi nakakaalis sa Japan, yun nga, mga nagpa-part-time job while studying ni Hongo pa rin, of course. Maganda rin ang offer nila. Japanese researcher naman siya. And we have now the kanji for Yama. So, this is the kanji for yama. So, pag nakita mo yung isang kanji na to, it means mountain. So, madali lang siya. Three stroke. So, ichi ni san. Yama. Mountain. And of course, pag sinama mo na siya sa ibang kanji, this is kawa. Means river. Yama, kawa, plus the san. Naging name na siya ng person. Yama, kawa. And of course, Mount Fuji. Fuji san. So, dito, yung yama dito, naging sun naman siya. Ibig sabihin, Mount Fuji. Of course, ang kailangan mo lang uh, tandaan dyan, yung pinaka-importante, itong naka-highlight na dalawa, yung yama sa yama kawasan or yama. But, take note, if hindi mo mabasa yung kanji and may sun siya, ibig sabihin, pangalan yun ng tao. So, don't worry. And we have nga, kawa. This is kawa. And we have Okawa-san, Mr. or Miss Ogawa. Ogawa-san, sorry. Ogawa-san. And we have the kanji for Genki. Genki is uh, fine, right? Or healthy. This is the Gen, while this is the Ki. So, Genki. Genki na hito. Energetic person. Genki. And of course, ang kailangan mong tandaan, yung naka-highlight kasi yan yung N5. But to another words na na dyan, or tango, is very important din naman siya. Pero, hindi na siya N5. Siguro N4 na siya. Kaya siya sinama dyan. And yes, we have gagenki and also the tanki. So, this is the kanji for 10. Heaven, but pag sinama mo tong kanji na number 33, it means weather. Denki. Denki, electricity. So, ang tawag nila din sa ilaw, denki. Ninki, popularity. And we have kimochi, feeling. Kimochi. And we have tengoku, heaven. Tensai, genius. Tenno, Japanese emperor. So, yung mga hindi naka-highlight na yan, medyo... Uh, N4 na sila. But yung naka-highlight is N5. And of course, meron na tayong kanji for Watashi. So, kahit Watashi lang ang medyo maalala natin kanji, dahil Jobo des. So, 7 stroke. So, Ichi, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Sichi. So, meron ka ng Watashi. Watashi is I.
And we have the ima, kanji for now. And of course, we have the kyo. Kyo is today. So, konban. Dito rin yung kanji ng konban because tonight. Kotoshi. So, this is the kanji of nen. Pero pag sinabi mong this year, nagiging toshi siya. So, the kanji of now plus the kanji of year will become kotoshi. So, kotoshi, corona oirus ga arimas. So, if we encounter the word arimas, right? Corona oirus ga arimas. So, there is a coronavirus this year. Corona oirus ga arimas. Kongetsu this month. So, watashi wa kongetsu corona wakuchin. Corona vaccine ga arimashita. So, I have vaccine for corona virus. Corona oirus wakuchin ga arimashita. So, vaccine is wakuchin. Corona oirus no wakuchin ga arimashita. And we have this one, rice field. But pag sinama mo siya sa kanji ng naka, means middle, nagiging tanaka plus the sun, nagiging pangalan ng tao. Tanaka-san. Or pag sinama mo siya sa kanji, kanji ng mountain, nagiging da naman siya. Yamada-san. And of course, rice field is tanbo. Tanbo. And we have the kanji for women. Or woman. Sorry, zoom in. This is the kanji for woman. Onna no plus dahito. So, onna no hito, woman. So, onna no hito, woman. Jose, woman din siya. But Jose is already entry. Kaya, don't worry. Yung naka-highlight lang ang kailangan mong tandaan if you're studying N5. But if you have goal to study also N3, Jose is also woman here. So, pwede mo nang gamitin, Jose. So, no Jose wa kirei des. That woman is beautiful. So, no onna no hito wa kirei des. That woman is beautiful. So, same lang sila. But pinagkaiba is yung level. So, pwede mo nang i-describe yung woman, right? So, we have shoujo, the eldest daughter. So, if you are the eldest, watashi wa shoujo des. I am the eldest daughter. Onna no ko means girl. Because this kanji in onna no ko means kodomo. Kodomo is child. So, onna no ko is girl. And we have, of course, for man. Otoko no hito is man and danse is also man but the difference between the two, these two, is yun nga, N5 tsaka N4 siya or N3 na yung danse. And we have otoko no ko is boy, otoko no ko. And we have male student, danse gakse. So yung male student, hindi naman siya ganong uh, nilalabas sa exam or hindi naman siya ganon sinasabi. But Danshi Gakse is a male student because Gakse is a student and Danshi is a male. And we have the kanji for to see, miru. So this is the I, yung sa una, me, and meron lang siyang paa. Mi plus the ru, to see. Sightseeing, genbutsu or kenbutsu, opinion is iken. Watashi wa iken ga Arimas, I have an opinion. Hanami. Hanami is flower viewing. So, hanan, this is the kanji of flower plus the mi, the kanji of uh, to see, flower viewing. And we have iku is to go, iku. Ginko, bank, ryoko, travel. Ichigyo me, first line. Ichigyo me, first line. So, this is the kanji of also ng travel. So, na, na, naiiba lang ang nasa unaan. But of course, nasa lesson 5 pa lang tayo, yun naka-highlight ang ating kailangang tandaan. Iku. So, if you see this word, it means to go. Or this kanji. 
And we have the kanji of to eat. Ito siya. Taberu. Yung ta. Ito siya. Tabemono. Yung food. Yun din siya. Tabemono. And also, shokuji is meal. But of course, sok or food. Shokuji is also food. But also, N4 siya. So, shokudo, cafeteria. Shoshoku is breakfast. Like asagohan. But asagohan is N5. While shokuji. Shoshoku is N3 na siya. So, if you are you want to level up your Nihongo, you can use Shoshoku wo tabemasu. I will eat breakfast. Or simply as asagohan wo tabemasu. But breakfast also is Shoshoku. And we have, of course, the no mu. This is the kanji for to drink. So, sabi dito, ito daw tao daw itong nasa kanan, then yung nasa Kaliwa is yung iniinom niya. So, parang taong umiinom. Kaya, no mu to drink. So, no mi mono is a drink. So, insu unten. So, nagda-drive ng laseng. Drunken driving. Insu unten. No mi mono is a drink. So, kware water, ocha, or kohi. No mi mono ga. Doon na no mi mono ga. Ski desu ka. Ocha ga tsuki desu. So, we are done with the lesson 5. So, in lesson 6, we will try to practice reading yung walang romaji para naman maisabay na natin ang pagbabasa ng hiragana sa ating pag-aaral ng grammar. But, I'm proud of you sa inyong tatlo sa pang Thursday kasi... Uh, hindi kayo subusuko even uh, you are working and si Sophie San is all, only 12 years old, nag-aaral of course. And hindi kayo subusuko to learn Japanese. Of course, learning new language is very hard, right? So, I am proud sa inyong tatlo. So, thank you for today, Jovi San. And if you have 